Hey everyone, welcome back to a new amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we will create a dynamic cup animation. Before starting this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Name it Main Comp. Set the aspect ratio to 16.9 and the duration to 6 seconds. Then press OK. Right click in the timeline and create a new solid layer. Name it background. Then press OK. Right click on the solid layer, go to layer style and select gradient overlay. Change the style to radial and click on edit gradient. Adjust the colors to a lighter green and a darker green. Then press OK. Select the ellipse tool by double tapping the Q key on your keyboard. Hold the shift key while dragging to create a perfect circle. Right click on the circle layer, go to layer style, and select gradient overlay. Change the style to radial and edit the gradient to a lighter green and a darker green. Adjust the scale to match the background, then go back to layer style. Add an inner glow, the lighter green, and increase its size. At the end, add bevel and emboss. Setting the dark color to dark green and the light color to light green. Adjust its size. Rename this layer to Ball. Duplicate the Ball layer multiple times and place them randomly in the composition. Adjust the scale of each ball. Select all the Ball layers and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Right click and create a new null object. Parent all ball layers to the null object. Select the null object, press P for position and separate dimensions. Create a keyframe for the Y dimension at 1 second and 15 frames. Move the Y position up while holding shift. Select all keyframes and press F9 to apply easy ease. Open the graph editor. Select the value graph and tweak the handles for smoother animation. Add another keyframe before the last keyframe and drag the last keyframe to 2 seconds and 9 frames. Use the pen tool to draw a surface. Duplicate the background layer style by pressing Ctrl plus C. Paste the style onto the new surface layer with Ctrl plus V. Change the gradient style to linear and adjust the size and position. Rename this layer to ground and change its color. Press P for position separate dimensions and animate the Y position. Apply Easy Ease press F9 and tweak the handles in the graph editor.
Add another keyframe before the last keyframe and drag the last keyframe to 2 seconds and 9 frames. Import your product. I have a cup, so I will use that. Then adjust its rotation to 25 degrees. Scale it slightly. Press P for position and Shift plus R for rotation. Separate dimensions and animate the Y position and rotation. Set initial position and rotation keyframes at the start. Apply Easy Ease, press F9, and tweak the graph editor handles. Add another keyframe before the end keyframe and drag the last keyframe slightly forward. Select the ball layer and apply a Gaussian blur effect dot from the effects and presets panel. Set the blur brightness to 30. Copy the blur effect, Ctrl plus C, and paste it, Ctrl plus V, onto the ground layer. Reduce the blur by 15. Create a new composition. Name it text and set the width to 4000 and height to 350. Use the text tool to write your desired text. Add a rectangle behind the text, covering the whole composition. Reduce its opacity and make it slightly darker. Pre-compose the text and rectangle into a single layer named Text Holder. Adjust the composition height to 180. Drag the text layer into the main comp and reduce its scale and rotate it by 25 degree. Apply the CC cylinder effect from the effects and presets panel. Adjust the X rotation and create keyframes for Y rotation. Animate the Y rotation from 0 to 360 degrees. Increase light height to 100 and intensity to 200%. Parent this layer to the cup layer. Go to the text composition. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle mask around the text. Animate the scale of the mask, setting the anchor point to the left. Unlink dimensions and scale the x-axis from 0 to 100%. Enable the track mat by clicking here and set it to alpha. Apply Easy Ease Press 9 and tweak the handles in the graph editor. Offset the text layer animation by 1 second and 14 frames. Then set the render option to outside. Duplicate the text layer, place it behind the cup, and set the render option to inside. Add a null object, and parent all layers, balls, ground, and cup to it. 
Select the null object, press P, and by holding Alt key, click on this stopwatch and add an expression. Wiggle 0.5 comma 25. So after this, I have added some text around the cup, which make it more interesting. So this is our final animation. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram for more amazing tips and tricks. See you in the next tutorial.